Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. <clears throat> and today I'm here with a video that has nothing to do with sports. I have often been asked on, um, on my channel and in my emails on occasion how I edit my videos. So I decided to make a video on how I edit my videos and put them together uh, the best I can for you guys out there that watch the channel. So, without any further delay, let's get into that. So here we are on my desktop and I'm going to grab a video and this is the recently done White Sox Week in Review video but this is just uh, the main part of the video. Hello sports fan. So anyway um, we are going to edit this video. I suggest you go back and watch it though. It was a very interesting video. Well, all right. It was as, as interesting as a White Sox Week in Review video can be. But let's go to um, my video editing software, and then we will grab that video and we will put it in and start to edit it. So what you do is um, the video editing software that I use actually comes with Windows 10, which is what I have. So you go to your, um, your menu of apps and you go down to um, if you have Windows 10, you should have this right here, Video Editor. So you go into Video Editor, and I will get rid of this was one that I had already done. So now you go into Video Editor, and what I like about Video Editor in Windows 10 is it's very easy to use. Even if you don't know how to use it, you've never seen anything on how to use it, you've never read anything about how to use it, it's easy to use. You go into new video and you give it a title and so we'll call this White Sox Recap just so that it's a different name than any other video I have up. And so what happens with this is now you have the title and then you go down to you go up to add and you say from this PC. And then I go down to the folder where I have the White Sox videos have White Sox games, but you just click on that White Sox Week in Review video, and now it puts it up here, and what you do is you put it down here. Now, you know that I have in, an introduction in many of my videos, so if I want to add my intro, I go to the PC, and I go to where I have my intro, and uh, we go to um, the desktop, and then we go to video snippets because I have my intro and video snippets. And here you can see all the snippets that I eventually <clears throat> or at times put into different videos. So uh, let's find the, uh, here it is, intro one. So this is my intro video, um, which is only a few seconds long. And you drop that down here into the editing tab table. Now, if I want this video if i want the intro to be the very first thing i do then here's you know what i have i have and and if i were to say if i were to go up here right now and say finish video this is exactly what it would do it would uh, upload a video to my desktop that is just my intro and then the main part of the video that i just made uh, there that I made and that I had uploaded earlier as the White Sox recap video. So um, if that's all I wanted to do, then that's fine. Now, you will notice also that I put writing into my video sometimes. So what you want to do if you want to do that is you go to split and you go to wherever you want to split the video and I'm just stopping randomly, but you would, um, what I do is I watch it so that I can see where the best place to drop the uh, text is. And so I wanna drop a text right here at this point in the video. So I'll say done, and then 
I go to this, this is the where I want the text to start is on this next segment. So I'll say text and then you go up here and you choose from, it gives you just so many uh, versions of text that you can do and the way that it looks. So I'll put it in on what I use a lot is impact, put it in an impact and then I'll say, I meant to say versus Texas, you know, whatever. I mean, uh, this is just, so I write that and I say done. Now, the thing about video editor and putting text into videos is you can only do it once unless you split the video again. So then what I'll do is I've said this, I said I meant to say versus Texas. So then what I do is I'll go further into the video if I wanna drop another text and then I say done. And now I wanna drop the text here at 957. So I'll write text again and then I'll say, White Sox win two to one. And so then I say done and it dropped the text there. So every single time you want to write text, you have to split the video because it will only do it. It will only put text in to one continuous segment of video. So you got to split it to do several. And if you've seen some of my baseball games, you know that I've done that quite a bit and it can get kind of confusing because then you're splitting it and splitting it and splitting it and it can get kind of hard to follow so anyway now let's suppose i want to um you know sometimes you you'll see in my videos i'll do an intro where i say we're going to talk about this or that and then i have my intro music come on so if i want to do that what I'll do is I go here, I'll go to the first segment right after the intro. And wherever it is that I want to split it, I just split it. So we'll say right here is good. Then I say done. And so this was the segment that I wanted to be to happen before the intro. So I just take this and I move it. And now this will um, pop up first. This will be the first thing you see and then we go into the intro and then we go into the main part of the video. Now sometimes you'll see that I also have 3D effects and uh, most of the time that's the Z coming on the screen after I say this is Sportsman Z. So that's here in the 3D effects and we'll put it into this opening segment. So you click on this and then it puts the uh, it puts the Z right into the video, and I'm going to reduce the sound on it. And so you say done. And now this has that opening uh, segment with the Z's that comes on that you might see sometimes. Now we'll go to this segment. We'll put another one in because they have a lot of choices. So we'll say 3D effects and we'll go to um, breaking news. So I take the breaking news thing. I can make it as big as I want to make it. Drop it in and then say done. And so now I've got the breaking news um, uh, effect in the video. Now, of course, it's limited in the things that it can do. It's limited in the types of text that it has, but this is key. It's free. If you get, um, if you get Windows 10, it comes as a standard um, app in, in um, Windows 10. So it doesn't cost you anything. You don't have to pay a monthly fee for it. None of that. So that's nice. And now you'll also notice sometimes I have like different looks to my videos. It's not just the look like, you know, this, the way it looks as, as it was recorded, which is what this is. So you go to filters and now over here, you can see I have a ton of filters I can pick from. All right, not a ton, I, I have some. So if you go to pixel, it'll make it like that. If you go to Joy, Joy looks like this. It's a slightly different kind of look. If you go to Inky, it'll look like that. 
you can say done. Now the key here is that I did this in this segment right here. But this is the only segment that that happened in. So if I want that same effect throughout all of the video, and I've already um, divided it into segments to write text and so forth, then I've got to actually go into each one of these segments and do the same type of um, uh, filter. So what I do generally is I'll put the filters in first, like right when I drop down just these two into this part of the editing menu, I will just immediately make this the type of um, filter that I want if I want it throughout the entire video. Now there's sometimes you might want it to only be in a certain segment and then that's fine. You just, you just uh, divide it up like we did with the split version and then it'll only happen in that specific um, segment of the video, which is nice because sometimes I do want that. I just want it in a certain part of the video. I don't want it all the way through. Uh, so uh, motion and speed and some of these other things I don't use. Trim I don't use because uh, really I just use split to trim. And the way you do that is you can go to split. Let's go here. And then let's go up to here. And so now I've gone eight seconds into this and I say done. And so now this is the segment that we had just split off. And then all I do is I say, remove this video clip. And now it's gone. And that's how I, I mean, that, I, I'd rather do it that way than use trim. Because trim, you know, it, it shows you this and you have to know exactly where you want to trim it and where you want to cut it. And I, I just, it's more exact for me and it's, it's, um, easier to do using split to actually trim but i do do that now add title card you've seen this sometimes in my football videos i'll put this something like this in at halftime so you've got the uh, screen and you can drop it of course wherever you want to drop it um, and then you just uh, say text and then you type in whatever you want. So, you know, you say White Sox 6, Texas 4. And then, and you can put this, you can move it into the uh, middle by doing that. You can move it, make it smaller and put it in the middle. You can move it up to the top the bottom, off to the side, off to the other side. So, I mean, there, there are a lot of options with that. So that's how you do that. And that's what the title card does, the title card function in here. And of course you can change the color of it too. So I can make it light blue instead of purple and say done. So that's um, a lot of the editing function of, the, um, of this editor. Now there is one other thing that I've started using that I will, um, and then what you do is you just say, oh, oh no, there is one other thing, background music. I have tried background music and put it in the video. So that's what Block Party sounds like. I'll reduce the sound, I'll re reduce the volume, and now uh, Block Party is in the video. Now, if you do that, even if you have it segmented off like this, that um, audio that you put in the, uh, in, the, in the video will play through the entire video, even if you did it in just one segment. It doesn't segment it off like... Um, uh, like the filter does. So that's something to, to be aware of. Um, so anyway, that's the basics of that. Now let's go to the other thing that I've started to use, and that is um, Movie Editor. So you go again, you go down here to the menu, you go to um, Movie Editor, and this is a free movie editor, but you have the option, it'll give you the option when the main screen comes up of buying other things, getting 
a monthly price of $2.99. I haven't done that yet because I don't, because obviously I have a lot of the same functions that this provides in the um, video editor that I have with, um, you know, with as part of Windows 10. So I don't know if this is really worth it. I mean, this is only $3 a month. I'm going to check into it and see if it does text that I don't have um, in um, in video editor or if it does other things that I don't have in video editor. But anyway, we're going to move on. So you say no thanks and then it puts you in here and then you go to video, click on video editor and we'll go get the um, we'll go get the video that I was just working with White Sox week in review video. We'll bring that up. Now you can see right here, you can trim it, but I'm just gonna go on to continue because there's other options. Now, one option that I use, that I can use with this free version is the sticker. So I'll say sticker, and then you go to the sticker options that you have. And we'll pick the bat, just because I wanna pick the bat. And then I put where I want it to start. And I put where the I want the bat to end. I say accept. And so this bat will appear in the video <coughs> from 159 to 558 <coughs> of the video. So, and I can make it bigger and I can make it smaller and do all that stuff. Now, if I hit accept, the only the one thing I don't like particularly about this is that if I hit accept and then I say save, this is going to take quite a while just to put that one little icon in the video. So that's one thing I don't like about it. So anyway, we'll get out of that because we're not going to actually save it, <coughs> but it would do that. So that is my tutorial on how, basically how I edit my videos. I don't do, I'm not a high tech guy. I don't do any of the editing software that you can actually buy that will do a lot more because I don't, I've, I've tried those. I've looked at them and they're very difficult for me to use without watching extensive videos or reading, uh, you know, whatever the, um, the help menu for them to find out how to actually use them. So I just use the basic straightforward um, editing video that I get with, um, with Windows 10. And I find that that does the job pretty well. I'll probably up my game a little bit um, as I go um, you know, like the movie editor thing with putting the emojis or the icons in the video. I've just started doing that. So that is basically how I edit my videos. And uh, again, appreciate you guys watching. Leave me a comment below. Uh, leave me a like. If you have any other questions, happy to answer them. But for right now, that's going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Signing off.